What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys today. We're going to talk about how you can make a thousand a week consistently driving for Uber and Lyft. Before we jump into this video, we want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Solo. Solo is the best app for gig workers to make more money hands down. It gets you access to guaranteed earnings, a ton of other features, and on top of that, our viewers are going to get $10 just for signing up using the link in the description below. So check it out, guys, and let's jump in. All righty. So my main rule of thumb with this is you have to utilize both apps, you have to prioritize weekends, you have to use third party apps, and on top of that, you just have to do the right hours. Uber and Lyft is not what it is any uh, what it used to be anymore. And so like it used to be that you could consistently make 1500 to 2k. To me that is not the case anymore unless you push some like hellish hours. So let's start with like how your week set up, what that should look like. The main rule of thumb for me is that Friday needs to be your Monday. Now what I mean by that is the bulk of the money you make should be on Friday and Saturday and then you should try and get the rest in the rest of those days. So if it's possible for you to change up the way you look at your weeks, you need to. Um, you need to base all your budgeting and everything around that. And that's obviously if it's like imperative that you make that thousand each week. If you don't really care what you make, then obviously it doesn't matter. But the problem is, is that at least what I always noticed when I was like really like needing to hit certain financial numbers is that if I just hoped that I did really well on Friday, Saturday, occasionally you would just have a really slow one and then the week's almost over and I didn't, I couldn't really make up for it. Some Sundays are killers, some Sundays are not. So that's always been kind of the problem with treating Uber and Lyft full time is that it's so unpredictable and volatile that one slow day can throw off your entire week, your entire budgeting. So for starters, you need to set your schedule so that Friday is your Monday. Now the goal should be to make at least $500 on Friday and Saturday. But you should also be doing the bulk of your hours on Friday and Saturday. My recommend recommendation is 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Friday and Saturday. It's a lot. You know, you're putting 24 hours in in two days, but you're going to get some really good rides, make some really good money. People are more prone to tip those days. It makes sense to have the bulk of your hours for the week be on Friday or Saturday. So on top of that, <clears throat> I would use Play Octopus, I would use Solo, and then I would be using every gas incentive you possibly could to lower your gas costs just so that you can retain as much of that thousand as you possibly can. Solo and um, Play Octopus, if you're putting the right hours in, could make you an extra 50 bucks a week, give or take. So obviously it's not massive, massive earnings, but when you're talking an extra 200 a month, it's definitely worth it, <clears throat> especially when you're talking to free services. So on Friday and Saturday, I'm pushing to, uh, 12 hours each day. The goal to be to make 250 each day. Ideally, if I can push for 300, I'm going to go for it. Um, and then, you know, I would say bare minimum, I would look to make 200 on Friday, 200 on Saturday. So now let's say I made it to 500. Now I know that I have you know, five days left in my new week and I just need to make an extra $500, right? To get me to a thousand. Ideally it's an extra 400 because I made six. So the next thing is, is usually you're gonna have some type of, of like smaller incentive. It's not gonna be the most powerful, but it's gonna be enough that it's worth prioritizing. Sunday, if you can, I would look to put in uh, five to six hours. I would just start at about 10 a.m., get some good brunch rides, and take that until three. Now, depending on the Sunday, I might take it longer. Late NFL game, I'm gonna go till like 10 p.m. I'll be so drained after that weekend, but it'll be def it'll definitely be worth it. Um, and I would say even most NFL Sundays, even if your home team isn't playing, can generally be worth it just from people going to bars to watch the games so on and so forth. But someday I would say your safe note is try to hit five to six hours, start at 10 a.m., go till whenever you want, 
try to make $100 that day so that now you're sitting at either $700 or $600 depending on how much you made on Friday and Saturday. Ideally, you hit six between Friday and Saturday. Now you've got 100 from Sunday. You could even take Monday off and you just have to make 300 between Tuesday and Thursday. Now, I've always said like as an Uber and Lyft driver, in a way you should anticipate having seven day work weeks, but it doesn't mean you're grinding like eight hour days. There's a way where you can still do it. Now the key for me is I'm basing everything around the bonuses during the, nor the traditional weekdays. So Monday through Thursday, I'm looking at if I have quests, I'm looking at if there's any you know three ride bonuses. Um, I know I have a bunch on the app right now, so they're still pushing these pretty often. Now my goal is if there's a quest, I'm gonna try to get the biggest one unless it's like some outlandish hours that will be needed to hit it. But if I can get a quest for 60 to 100 bucks for X amount of rides, all I'm doing is dividing those rides and then I'm hitting them from 3 to 7 p.m. on those weekdays. That's not a bad shift when you're considering that for four days you're just going out for four hours. 3 to 7 to, I mean, you're home pretty early, you're home most of the day. That's really not bad at all. You're getting to sleep in if you want to sleep in. You're getting to stay up late if you want to stay up late. So that's why I never minded that type of schedule, right? So then all you've got to look at it is if you've got to make $400 in those four days and you have a quest for $100, you've really got to make $300 in the next four days. There should be some other little bonuses you can throw in there. And your goal is to essentially divide it up each day, but also utilize as much of the weekday bonuses to hit those basically as fast as you can, but with as little time output as you possibly can as well. So that's my main recommendation for how you guys do this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely check, check out Solo, guys. You're going to get $10 just for signing up. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more updates.